What you want me to say? All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. We just moved to the basement. We ain't getting no damn service down here, man. But welcome back to the Herbal Tea Podcast, man. I know y'all missed us, man. But I'm here with my beautiful host, Miss... Rita D, I'm in the building. Rita D is in the building, man. We definitely got two guest hosts today. We got Jesse P from the Lockhead Host. Did y'all Hi. remember her? She's definitely in the building. We got a comedian, a new comedian on the Detroit scene. Well, she's not new, but she's back in her bag. Um, her name is B Rex. That's her comedy name and her Fight Club name. Stop playing with her. All right, all right, all right. Hey, me in the building. And guess what? She's a Gemini like me. So at the end of the day, <laughs> oh. Gemini's run the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's what they yeah. want to say. But um, we glad to be that back, part. man. We had to take a little siesta, man. Sometimes life be life. You know, we all understand life that. You know, we all go through a lot of shit. So at the same time, man, and um, sometimes you can't just put all your eggs in one basket. You got to move them around until you create your own basket. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, that's what it is. We back in here with Miles and Podcast, and thanks for having us, man. Um, like you said, it's no more view. We back in the basement, back to the grind. But you know, that's how we do it. We start from the bottom and we going up. And um, we appreciate them. So how everybody been? How you been, Rita D? What's been going on in your life? We ain't talking to you in a year. What's going on? You in love? You look, you look like you're glowing. <laughs> God damn. I'm always going. Let's mm-hmm. start there. Mm-hmm. Skin always flawless. Yes. That's another thing. That's a fact. But we haven't talked in a year. No, we best friends. No, Don't be saying it like no, that. The people haven't seen you in a year. You okay. slimmed up, slim, trim. <laughs> No, um, this last year, 2024, I don't know about y'all, but I did not need that extra hour. 2024 for my family was hell. Mm, come on. We lost four immediate family members. Mm. So oh it wasn't God, a good year for me, but I'm still living. I'm still breathing. I'm believing in God. I'm okay. fasting. I'm praying. Praise the Lord. I'm believing. So with God, all things are possible. So with that being said, I still got breath for my body. So mm. Come good. on, man, man. Rest you look in peace. Good. Thank you. Yes. You she good. glowing, though. Thank you. Yes. That's a new dick. That's a new dick glow. <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> how about, how about it's a new, it's a just a new being life. I'm living in a new normal. Now. Maybe how her life is shining and brighter because she ain't got no. Shade I don't know. When I get some, when I get somebody new in my life, life they, they I flow and glow different. You know what I'm saying? So it's I, not yeah. about anybody other than myself and God. That's yeah, that's my goal. Like but um, but I do want to say um, rest in peace to Rita D's family because they yes. like my family and um. Man, shout out to moms Cadelas and everybody that's been strong in her family. You know, and, uh, man, I, I just want to say that, man. Shout out to the fa- Dixon family and the rest of the people that I care about, love about. Okay, what about you, Jesse P? What you been up to on the Lockhead Ho side of the game? <laughs> I honestly want to get through that condolences stuff, too, because my yeah. sister, she suffered losses oh, as well. Okay. This year. Oh, it has so been my- a rough year in, good way. in yeah. passing, so I. Knock on wood, I'm thankful I still have my. I actually added to my family this year. Okay, you pregnant? Yeah. No, I have a new nephew. <laughs> oh, okay, we didn't know. We, <laughs> we added know this. that. We don't know. One hey. and done around Is here, one and done. Okay. Yeah, yeah, one and done around here. You got a little like, glow about you, you know, I don't know. Oh, the locks then got longer, too. They did. They kind of good. Girl, they cut them. So that's oh, they look good. good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Healthy. Thank you. I'm trying to so, um, mm-hmm. just focus on life right now and. Transition into day shift life, so it's been beautiful. Like yeah. I'm off the vampire. Yeah, that uh, night schedule. shift. Be, oh my uh, god, being yes. worse. Especially being a parent. No, I'm gonna tell you what night shift is the worst when your off days, when you can't go to sleep and you be up all night and mm-hmm. everybody else be sleeping. Shit, that should be the worst. Um, I still got to sleep. Sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get your sleep. Yeah. I'm trying to get my rest. All right, B Rex, what you been up to, Queen? I seen you back on the scene yesterday. You was at the punchline, uh, and I seen you definitely was doing your thing. I seen the clip and I was laughing my ass off. Mama Bear, that shit had me laughing so hard, man. So how's being back in the comedy world for you and how it's working that for you. It's how's lovely. I love it. Like, I love the people. Mm. Um, I work in customer service, so I feel like I do a show every day a little bit. You yeah. know? I'm a mother, so there's another show. Okay. <laughs> I'm a wife, there's another show. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just show after show after show. Mm-hmm. So, um, it's good to be back. Yeah. Um, I have been working out, trying to be healthy, I get see. your mind right. It really does. Mind, body, and spirit. You know, being closer to God. You know, just being better. A better 
better you. Yes. Just all together, like you feel better. You get this different energy, this different mm, je ne sais quoi to make you wanna pop, pop, Ooh. pop. You know what I'm saying? Pop, yes. pop, pop. So my jujitsu helps me focus. It also helps me you work do out. Jiu-jitsu? I do, I do. And uh, I haven't competed. I'm still, you know, training and stuff. But 2025 is looking real good. So you gonna compete? It's looking. Oh yeah, it's looking real good. What if you get your ass whooped? I mean, you win some, <laughs> you lose some. But Pop said you live you to fight, fight another, another day. day. Shout, shout out to Pop. Shout yeah. out to Pop. Man, oh, shout out to Pop. Another comedian. You said one interesting phrase. You said Janajay Kwa. Janajay Kwa. People don't know what Janajay Kwa mean because when I first heard it, I thought it meant like. Menage Qua. Yeah, but no, Menage Qua, let me tell y'all, I just found out the meaning of that word because somebody told me that, dang, you like a Janage Qua. And I'm like, well, hold on, let me look it up. It is something that you cannot explain. It's unexplainable. It's special. It's something that you got to tell the world about. Yeah. So with that being said, you looking good. You Thank feeling you. good. Mm-hmm. Juggling mom and work life and comedian life. The balance is great. Yeah. 2025 is nothing but up. Okay, nothing but up. That's okay. it, man. And, uh, yeah. You know what, Thank man? You. When, when, uh, I was listening to Shannon Sharp the other day. He was talking about being great and being great at something. And he said, anything that you want to be great at, you have to be obsessed with it. Mm-hmm. So hopefully you take that onto your journey and start your obsession with comedy. And I feel like you can go as far as you want to. Uh, Miles right here, he has connects on TV movies and stuff like that. He also directed movies. So we're going to try to get you in something and move you forward. Oh, you know, yes. Man. I'm ready. Yeah. Um, uh, we ain't charging nothing but 100 right now. But after, after you start. <laughs> Her, 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 so, so wait, can we set the atmosphere? Can I right. tell the viewers the atmosphere here real yeah. quick? Because I'm about to unzip y'all, and I need y'all to know why. This so we haven't been here over a year. Yeah. We moved from the greatest like suburban place that we could have been. Then we moved like maybe a little bit more west side. Yeah. But now y'all, we almost headed to the east. We in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> high in here. So excuse me if my back don't down. Back. <laughs> And this nigga ain't with guys. No more paper towel. He got one feet, <laughs> one roll. It's over with. It's hot. It's hot. Y'all talking about that glow. Crack a window with this motherfucker. Right. Right. Y'all talking about that glow. No, that is that light. That's the light that is lit in us right now. Okay? <laughs> yeah, man. But I want to welcome everybody back to the podcast. I miss doing this, man. And um, it's a passion of mine. And sometimes you got to put your passion away to complete other things, you know, as far as in life. And sometimes we go through stuff in life where we can't just afford to do what we want. We got to do what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? and need to do so right now man i'm back ready i'm good i'm feeling good i got good energy in my life i got good love in my life from people yes. that's around me yes. and Wait i think a minute, that's you my- got a girlfriend but you know what at the end of the day welcome back to the podcast <laughs> Wait, man and, um, you said good love you got that glow too no i'm just talking about family you know what i'm oh, saying and okay. friendship and and everybody okay. else mm-hmm. and uh, exactly it's a good piece so of pussy that fell in my lap no is the love circle still in effect you still uh, no the love, the love circle is not in effect i miss it you know what i'm saying but everybody had to split their ways because i got broke shit you know, how <laughs> you know how money only lasts so long <laughs> right yeah, definitely, definitely man <laughs> so i want to start today man um since it's election day man we're going to talk about it man i know people don't like to talk about politics Here we go. And, I, and i think that um <laughs> i just want to say this before we get started everybody is is is, is open to your own opinion you know what i'm saying and um i'm not gonna judge you no judging now i will have a joke to say and if you say something crazy you know i may agree with you because i'm crazy a little bit because i'm a gemini i don't a think on the these. main path but i went and voted today y'all can see my kamala shirt on you know no, we see that big ass sticker you got yeah, on there yeah, he sticker. like this is the first then time i ever voted <laughs> <laughs> let me put my sticker on let me put mine yeah, out too man. i got like five this or six mine was on my work shirt i had to go straight yeah. after work so i, I got a question for y'all okay can i have one see that was my question can i have one Sure. Y'all always grab one or two because I did. I got two. Right. I, 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 I got the big one too. Look, this was the lady told me I could grab as many as I wanted. She yeah. said, I told you, you told that to the wrong person. And for the she people told that could not ask, I was like, oh, these are cute. For the people who couldn't make it to the vote, we are selling them. So if you need one, hit us up after the show. Because it will yeah. hit on your Facebook page. They see that vote sticker. I voted okay, early because I right. did not get want to be in a line today because I didn't want to get discouraged. It wasn't any line. Right. I mean, I didn't it have to stand it was, online. A lot, of people, a lot of people are starting to vote online now. I don't trust that, though. I'd rather go in and put my ballot in. What you think? Yeah, through that machine. Yeah, it's yeah, on the, yeah. yeah. I'd rather put my ballot well, you know that's in. Somebody I'm glad to know everybody in this room did vote. So we're not yeah. part of the problem. So far as the service. <laughs> so, 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 so. <laughs> yeah, Miles. 
Sorry, man. I'm trying to promote the show. Oh, okay. Go ahead, brother. We appreciate that. All right, so far as voting, man. So, so, so what do y'all think? So, what is, I'm not going to ask y'all who y'all voted for. That's y'all opinion. But what do y'all think the outcome going to be after election? Is it going to, whatever happens, is it going to change? Or are you going to keep forward as far as doing what you want to do? Or what do y'all think about the election? You know, is it, can, is this the one that's going to change everyone's life? The, the goal, you know, catastrophic or what's going to be okay? Uh, what do y'all think, man? Y'all, you know. can, can I respond? Go ahead, baby. Okay. Um, I was really upset with this election, just in the terms of I didn't see any um, bills on the uh, ballot. No proposals, really. You had I one proposal. One. Yep. one proposal for the schools, and that's if you was in the city of Detroit mm. or, I mean, a Wayne County resident. Um, I'm not sure what Oakland County's, but I didn't we see any. Pro- too. I didn't see any pro- uh, promotion for proposals. It was None. It was, just, so, it was just that one for the so, Parks and Recreation. So we really like the president is that big this time around where we're not talking about local affairs. Mm. We're not concerned about what's going on in our community right now or needing any money. Mm. Where y'all allocating these funds? Where is this money going? This is a under, what do they say? An overlay for the underplay? Yeah. That's what's going on right now. Okay. I can't stand it. I voted. Um, yeah. Did you vote because you felt like your ancestors fought for this? Or your life depended on it. Oh, hey, I voted for Donald Trump. Should uh, I voted for my money? Okay, hey man, ain't nothing wrong with it, man. You know, we all get our opinion. But what made you vote for Trump? Since you put it out here, I did yeah. put it out there. You did. <laughs> Whether so I'm you, telling the truth, you know, or people not, gonna be watching this shit. Don't yeah. yeah. uh, try to play it off like you was lying. Uh, you know, yeah. Yeah. You I, I said that first. I'm not gonna ask y'all who y'all voted <laughs> you did for. Ask you know what I'm saying? But since you, you voted for Donald Trump, explain to us why the people why, because they definitely gonna ask why. They definitely are. Mm-hmm. I had to go with my money. I'm That's like, really? I'm in the what automotive do you mean industry. Okay. Um, so he didn't shut down any plants or anything like that. Um, uh, uh, the way the way our dollar is spread right now, it it works better for on the Republican side of things versus I can't believe we're going. So do you? I can't believe you, I'm going. You, I'm dying. You started. Well, wait. But we don't talk. Okay. So do you identify as a Republican? And if so, did you vote for Donald Trump the last election? If so, or not? Let us know why. I don't believe I voted the last time he ran. No, I'm lying. I did. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to let her. She just died no. on this ledge, and I'm not going to no. let her die. No, listen, 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 listen. Okay, so why do you feel the need? Did you? Okay, so last term, when, when he was up for president, you voted I feel Donald state? Trump would be good for America. And that's your opinion. How is he making America great? Oh, man. How is he making America great again, supposedly? Um, supposedly. We shall see. We shall see. Mm. That could be like, huh? that that again always gets me because what spe- specific Thank error you it right. Thank you. is yes, yes. That very, he's very, looking for um, uh, again. I am some college educated over here. So no no your business. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um error was a, was great that we're trying to get the again too. Cause mm. it's always like I don't I feel like we should progress. They always say know your past, but I feel like we should definitely keep going forward. Yes. So um yeah, the again. Okay, so I I just got one other follow-up question okay. for um, the Trump voters. So in saying I'm not that, a Trumper. No. Okay. I'm a Trump so, voter, but I'm not a so Trumper. So in saying that you voted for him, he's a convicted felon. Mm. There are so many people that is in our community that are African Americans that can't find a job today unless they go through Michigan Works or Goodwill Industry or something like that to get a job even as a felon. Do you think that he would be the best candidate to represent our culture and the people that look like us? And not just money. Because you said you did it for the money. No. Okay. You can't do no podcast, but, but you know, go ahead. You know, explain yourself if you want to. You want me to save you. I, I mean, I'm ready. I'm ready to save you. Because you, I, I'm gonna say this. I wanted to vote Donald Trump when he was running against Biden. I was gonna vote Donald Trump. But once Kamala got on, got in, and then I seen the momentum from the Democratic Party mm-hmm. and the, you know the momentum of the shit. I just, I, I voted for her. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie. But I was gonna you, vote for Trump though. I was. If he would have ran against Biden, I was because Biden was like suit to have, me. Do you feel like you've done better? In these last four years than you did in uh, four years prior to? No. Oh, okay. 
Mm. I don't. I don't. Being honest with you, when Trump was in office, I, I was fruitful, but that was probably because of what I was doing it was as well. Right. Yeah, it wasn't nothing. Yeah, it wasn't nothing to do. And then, then, then the economy, then, well, COVID did make the economy kind of, you know what I'm saying, slow down and shit and all the other things like that. But, uh, but so, yeah, I for, for Kamala, okay, so I have a follow up question for you. So during the first term that he was president, mm -hmm. what did you see differently that Nothing. what made you want to vote for him this time if he was going to get Biden? No, I was going against the competence level of it. You know what I'm saying? Joe Biden just wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? And I, I didn't not. want the leader of the free world being incompetent to what's going on. Trump is a bad person. A and, and we hated when he got in the office four years ago, but guess what we did? We it, made it through those Even though years. he has a team, because as you can see mm -hmm. right now, when the last time have you seen Mr. Biden come out and actually give a speech? Or I'm glad he hasn't. He can't. He can't. He no, done. He, he wouldn't have made it four years. Years, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just glad they came with the momentum. Then her being a black woman, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, and I don't know, and I'm going to tell y'all a movie to watch because I don't think that it starts with the president. At all. No, you don't see power. Let's start He's just there. a representative. So for everyone that wants to see how the world works, and I'm a firm believer in this is how it works from the mayor to the police chief to the warden to um, police officials, watch Mirror Kingston. That okay. first episode will show you the hierarchy of how the world works. What's that word again? <laughs> <laughs> I got you, baby. Uh, the bitches you. got she each other, such man. a hater. Yeah, such a man. Hate. But no, such but no. A hater. But no, she's right, man. Okay, what's up? What's so, up? Y'all read the comments. Somebody got to read the comments. It comment. says money. You know that stimulus money wasn't from the Trump administration, so his views so on health care and women's rights. Is it? And police have, have no accountability. So that was actually Barack Obama's plan. Yeah, it was. They, they, but they, Trump, they, but, they but, but I will. Trump did give more money to the HBCUs than a lot of other presidents too. But but, but tomorrow when I come in here, I will have a Trump list. So we just not gonna <laughs> say he didn't do shit. You well, know what I'm saying? Seventy four people, million people voted for him. So you, at the end of the day, you gotta remember this too. The HBCU is not ran by black people. It's ran by absolutely. absolutely. No, I didn't no. say it's ran by black and people. It started from white folks. Yeah, and it's gonna end with white. Yeah, people. what's the name? Started one. Uh, Rockefeller's wife started uh the black Spelman. college Spelman. Yeah, Jordan. Nigga, don't act like I'm. Can we refrain from using that word? What was nigga, 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 nigga. Yeah, we we <laughs> All right, man, we about to change it up, man, because that political stuff getting too deep, man. So we're going to talk about Diddy, man. You know, we haven't been in here, man. So what y'all think about the diddler, man? Is it looking diddler. good for him? He's definitely lubricated. Yeah, definitely, man. That oil. <laughs> See, when they did the baby oil thing, I thought he was just... Pause, a well to die, man. You know what I'm saying? He just needed a lot of baby oil. I didn't know they was putting the shit in the shit allegedly. But that, I mean, I mean, I've never seen him actually, so I mean, I didn't either. Right. So do y'all think it's real? Do we got a case? Do y'all think he can get out of it, or is it just consenting adults? You know, if I fly you out and give you some money, is that really sex trafficking? I mean, let's talk about it a little bit. Well, he has. Okay, so my thing is, he's had everyone <laughs> sign a disclosure. Mm -hmm. This close, this disclosure. Mm -hmm has to go on even after he passes away for up to 20 years. Damn. And That's if a good that story. is shorter than 70 years. Mm. So I don't know about the disclosure that he had everyone sign, but I'm going to say if I had to sign a disclosure about <clears throat> something that I can't talk about even when I'm dead, right. like, because we can't talk about even when I'm dead. Yeah, right. So even when I you die, I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go to that part. Hey, right that man, I'm about to see some shit I really ain't supposed to see. Exactly. But, if, but if that's happening and people are coming out, what is really the power of the NDA? So let's get, okay, so let's break it down. Once why, again. why sign one if it's not, don't you Did know? he piss somebody off? Yes. And I'm going to say that Diddy pissed off. Very and I can't remember. Person. Okay, so there are seven families in this world that owns, like, everything. Like, they are the American sure. families that you cannot touch. Mm -hmm. Diddy had a brand, a, a liquor uh, that came out. Mm -hmm. um, yes, right. Cognac. Delion. 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 Oh, okay. He sued the company of right. Delion because he didn't feel like they were enforcing or showing his promoting liquor, his shit, yeah. promoting his thank you, mm -hmm. promoting his liquor <clears throat> like they were promoting other companies' <clears throat> liquor and he won. He caused this family billions of dollars. Right. Within that week, Diddy House was being raided. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say it's a coincidence, but I'm going to say it's who you know because I'm sure somebody <clears throat> gave a phone call to the feds, the DEA, somebody, somebody and said, hey, yeah. he messed up. Yeah. So at the end of the day, 
he was just another Russell Simmons. He just didn't make it to another island in time. And people oh. don't know that uh, that house that that Delion is on. <clears throat> It owns like almost all the liquors, Hennessy, all that, and it owns Louis Vuitton as well. Absolutely. Um, it's, I forgot the house what it's called, but um, it's a very powerful fashion house and it's a powerful uh, liquor home. So. With the house of Deleon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, like I said, then people saying, "Well, somebody, well, Diddy got could tell on the rich people and all that." Man, them people ain't gonna tell him nothing. That he 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 knows some shit, but he ain't gonna know what everything. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't gonna know enough to put him in jail. Now, so they, it's um, you don't think he's going to prison? He's definitely going to jail. Oh, okay. He's definitely going to jail. <laughs> He's definitely going to jail. One person who I was surprised that didn't go to jail, and I'm glad he didn't. Um, Young Thug, man, did they waste? Did they waste the people of Atlanta and Georgia's money going through that two year trial? To Absolutely. Only give them probation? Then y'all offered them probation. It but the like... probation was so stiff, though. I, I still don't. I mean, forty years in jail or fifteen years of probation? <laughs> I think I cannot smoke weed and be around criminals. You know what I'm saying? What you think? He really can't go home either. No, he can't. Just, it's well, no, he can't go to Atlanta. He's rich. Yeah. He don't have to be in Atlanta. But that's just the thing. Like you said, right, he is rich. So that's just the thing. He can move his people wherever they yeah. need to be. But that's home true. will always be home. And so home after, will always be home. was it, two years? I think that he can't go there because it wasn't as stiff as probation. Yeah, he can't go there with you. No, no, no. Yeah, she, two years. Yeah. She, she, she gave him a very light, light sentence, yeah. but... Regard, I really felt like it should have been a mistrial and they should have dismissed it. Oh, they should have dismissed it, it, it man. Everybody that they said was going to tell didn't that, tell. I don't who recall. Lived who in the Georgia area, yeah. the Atlanta area should be like, where is my money? Yeah. Like, for real, yeah. I should get some tax dollars back for this because this is a waste of that my time. That was horrible. Did y'all went through three judges? Then the last judge was like, I, I, she said they were so incompetent, I'm going to give y'all a couple of days to come back and redo it. She was giving the prosecutors a chance to redo what they was going to say. We say what they was gonna say. That's she was crazy. talking that they found reasonable doubt. Yeah, man, that's crazy, man. Yeah, man, they should get their money back. Though. I mean, shout out to Young Thug, though. Shoot, Young Thug held it down. He wasn't like so, everybody else going on first forty-eight. No, yeah, he held it down. He held it down. Criminal back on the go ahead. Okay. That's Miles said that. Uh, allegedly. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to, <laughs> shout out to Woody, too, because I should be saying you have no more movies coming up. Oh, yeah, Woody, man, he doing his thing with them 20, 20 versus 1 and all that. Man. It just shows you the power of the internet and going viral now. Yeah. Back then, we used to have to be out here promoting ourselves, put ourselves. If you put something on the internet and it's funny enough, you go viral, you won't have to work again. That's true. You don't need yeah. uh, these podcasters and uh, YouTubers are like the new rappers now. Yeah. They're the new entertainers. If you see a podcaster, I went all the way that to... 15 seconds of fame it, really came true. Yeah, I went all the way to... I used to watch this show called Country Style, which I used to watch. I'm going to tell you why I used to watch it now. <clears throat> I went all the way to Blenheim, Blenheim, South Carolina, to go see them, eat their barbecue and all this shit. I don't know what it is about me. Once I see a celebrity and meet them, they don't feel like a celebrity no more. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody that lives and resides and was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. We the celebrities. We are celebrities. Okay. <laughs> I ain't never had a celebrity. Hey, and what's so, so crazy, the people got around him was trying to shake his hand and standing in line. I'm from Detroit. I walked straight to that nigga like, what up, though? He was like, what up, though, Detroit? So, yeah, <laughs> man, that was because I had my Detroit shirt on, man. But that was crazy, man. Speaking of Detroit, you in Houston this weekend? Uh, I'm definitely in Houston oh. this weekend. Oh, we about to turn all the way up Detroit Ooh. Lions oh, We playing the Texans And uh, we about to go crazy Man uh, We probably be, You know either we be at, be at uh, the Super Bowl Tough Yeah Like tough We should drive to New Orleans and, oh, Get down there We just gotta be in the oh, vicinity yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah Look who cares about Going to the game I ain't gotta game. go to the game We gonna be outside With it yeah. baby so It's gonna be Mardi Gras as well It's gonna be so tight uh, It's, it gonna, is. Like, it's gonna be good The tailgate Is gonna be off the chain <clears throat> mm -hmm. So hopefully I'll be at Seaside <laughs> Club 51 50 15 or dream or something like that. Uh, shout out to Katie. Shout out to uh, Houston, man. I'm being down there. So getting to you, Miss uh, Comedian. What made you get your start in uh, comedy? What made you want to do it and get your um, started? It's in my blood. My daddy was funny. Okay. All right. He, I, I think he was dad funny. Who your daddy? He, um, Cedric the Entertainer. No, I was playing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my dad's with my Barbie. R.I.P. Dad. Um, but no, he. Um, I just always. Like, I was always that kid, like, I used to, <laughs> one of my first jokes, <laughs> one of my first jokes was like a knock-knock joke. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, like, knock-knock. Who is it? 
Green. Green what? Green beans. Oh, man. Right, that like shit it, wasn't it funny. Tried, you know it wasn't. Like, but was my whole shit. family, like, my thing was they mm. would always go, oh, my God, you so corny. But they would be literally busting their guts. Yeah. Like, losing their stuff. Mm. And I'm just like, if you release yourself, you don't know what's going to hit you yes. to release you until you hear it. Mm. And that's why sometimes people laugh so uncontrollably. They like, yeah. oh, my God. Man. Like, yeah, so I, I pride myself in making people, you know, just laugh. Keep going, they yeah, but you know, but they <laughs> say, but, but they say, um, so, 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 once you started doing your comedy, like, where did you? What was your first performance, and was you nervous? Or My tell first us about performance. Uh, I used to live in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Shout yeah. out to Fort Wayne. Yeah, shout out to Fort Wayne. There's shout no I beautiful there women in Fort Wayne. I was just in New Haven two days ago. No beautiful women in Fort Wayne, allegedly. Oh, no. <laughs> whoa! Uh, I'm just playing Fort Wayne. Shout out to y'all. I mean, I'm I don't live there. I'm not from there. <laughs> I, I ain't say you there. wasn't. You from Kansas, I right? I'm from Kansas. I'm yeah, originally yeah. from Kansas. Um, but I, I performed at, uh, it was a hookah lounge actually called Dreamers. Hmm. Yeah. And I always go, anytime I perform, a lot of my friends come out. I always got my posse with me. Hmm. You know, so I, I appreciate the support of my friends. And because people always tell me I'm funny. Like, I just, it's just once you get to know somebody hmm. and fun uh, laughing is like, it can be coping. Like, it makes you feel it's a mm. food for life. Like if you can laugh about it, then we can get through it. Right. Because some of this stuff is definitely not funny. But if we don't laugh, we be crying. Because they, you know mm-hmm. what they say that um, <clears throat> most comedians are the most darkest people. Like y'all go through uh, the most darkest shit. That's oh, what brings I've been up. through some stuff. Like, That's what makes y'all yeah. be able to make people laugh and stand on that stage and don't care if they laugh or not. Just have that nerve and that courage because really you laughing at your story and your truths most of the time. Yeah, and just your reality because like mm. um, a trademark. Before I say this. Uh, one of my shows are going to be called I Can't Make This Shit Up. Okay. Because my real life, like mm. the stuff I tell, <clears throat> the things I, that I go through, mm. it's funny because I made it through it. We, I wouldn't be laughing in my grave. You know mm. what I'm saying? Right, right. Ain't no laughing corpse. So I just, uh, I, you just have to accept it. If more people will accept who they are, they'll be able to accept who other people are. Mm. Mm-hmm. And, I, and they wouldn't have so much Say judgment. Yeah. If you can accept who you are, mm. you can accept who other people are. Because yeah. you can't change other people mm-hmm. we can actually change ourselves we can wake up and say i'm gonna be different yeah. i'm gonna get out of my bed i'm gonna make my bed yeah. i'm going you know i'm gonna get up at this certain time i'm gonna be on time and you know what and what's so crazy is a lot of people don't understand that sacrifice is the biggest thing with anything you it know is. what i'm saying as far as you sitting down writing jokes and having confidence that them jokes gonna go off yeah it's definitely like that takes courage you know what i'm saying for real for real but like you were saying you got to be one with yourself before you be one with anybody see a lot of people and i'm i hate to talk y'all to death but a lot of people have burden y- y'all yeah. ever heard the story of the cuckoo bird the cuckoo bird is a bird that takes its eggs and then it, it, it first it searches and migrates and once it finds another nest it it'll take its eggs take the the, net, the 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 nest that already had the eggs in it it'll kick the eggs out and put their eggs in there and leave the eggs there and let the other bird raise them so that's just like burden that people put on you they'll try to take their burden and take what they going through yeah. and put it on you and yeah. your energy you know what i'm saying and let you live and run, run off with it and raise it you know right. what i'm saying so we got to like a baby daddy baby that. yeah cuckoo bird yeah that's yeah. that's right up there with that but no i feel that and you don't you can't let other people put their stuff on you you got to mm-hmm. release it yeah. So. oh yeah i'm a firm believer and i don't let everybody pray for me or touch okay, me. Okay, or do my hair. Or do my hair yep. because those spirits will transfer. And I also believe in when you are let's say intertwining with someone, mm-hmm. like I don't bring a lot of people to my house. Yeah. But I feel like you should get a new mattress. Mm. Oh, Every yeah. time you enter into another situation. So? Yeah, that's so tight. How y'all feel about that? Man, I, your question. I mean, is he going to buy the new mattress? Mm-hmm. The mattress mean, be expensive as hell. Nah, nah, man, I'm just like Carnos. But if you get new partners and got to buy that many mattresses, then that's another, that's another, um, I don't you know, know. If, 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 if I had a woman that, I, you know, that moved in and started living with me, I definitely want a new mattress. Of course, you know yeah, yeah, like a new relationship, of yeah, course, yeah. yeah. But, but I mean, if you're trying to get a new mattress every month, then you should just, it's not about the mattress, baby. Well, yeah. That, you got some issues within yourself. <laughs> right. You want every month. You need to stop <laughs> bringing people to your house. That's what I'm yeah. But yeah, I don't let everybody come to my house. I don't, because you yeah. know. How often do y'all change y'all furniture, though, in y'all home? Furniture? Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Furniture. <laughs> now, I'm just saying, because you know, as black people, we'll keep some furniture forever. We'll, we'll get some new furniture, move the old furniture in the basement. Oh. You know, we never get rid of that shit. You know, white people, they'll give it to somebody who needs some or donate yeah. it. we going to move that shit to the basement. Right. we going to okay. furnish the basement. we going to use it yeah, to it. Yeah, we going to get it. I think we keep it until it's tore up. Kids jump on it and knock all holes in it and shit. Yeah. But that's because we 
know how to maintain them. Right. Mm -hmm. We know how to maintain them. I feel yeah. like... Because, like you, know, you just said, it's a car nose. So yeah, especially if you buy quality furniture, it shouldn't be... Like, but I'm mad. Our furniture don't be fucked up because in your mama house, you couldn't sit in that living room with that good no, furniture. No, I took the mm -mm. car to my kids. I'd be like, I used to sit on the couch till I was like 13. Y'all yeah. lost y'all mind. Mm -hmm. Go, like, in, the, go in your room and go in the basement and go upstairs, but you ain't finna sit in that sit front in that room when she paying that $400 mm -hmm. a month on that furniture. But you know what? Well, that's it was a different time. You gotta mm -hmm. understand, when our parents was growing up, they was like really making ends meet. I think that for our generation, because we are college educated, we did go to school, I feel like sometimes we do have the money and the means to be able to provide new things for ourselves. So I knew that when I got older, when I had a house, I wanted to utilize the entire house. I did not want people not to be able to sit in the living room. Yeah, I didn't like, yeah, I know what you said, yeah. I mean, let's yeah. use it all. That's what I'm here for. Right, right. I only get one. Your living room furniture is nice, though. And yeah. I had it. Okay, so people don't even sit on her shit because it's nice, though. <laughs> they don't. And I tell them all the time, so I have an all white living room. All Ooh, white. Yes. It's all white. The rug is white. And then yeah. there's like black accent and things like that. But I don't mind people sitting in there because at the end of the day, I'm a call who goes. But it's so right. white, you just don't. You just I like in our mind, there. we automatically uh, know no, like don't no, sit in there. Right now. That means you dirty. That's what that means. <laughs> 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 you don't want your dirty balls on our couch, but I know when I sit up, it will look the same. When no, I get it just when I you down. just black people just not used to sitting in the living room furniture. So it'll be nine years that I have um, purchased my home. Straight up. Yeah. Oh, I thought you took the furniture. And I have uh, had my furniture for at least eight of those years. Damn, okay, and that shit's still is. white though. No bullshit. That shit crazy. Yeah. But it was um, custom made. It was custom made. Okay. Okay. Shout out to Art Man. Shout out to Art Man. Okay. I miss Art Man on Greenfield. They used to hook me up. Okay. Yeah. okay. Is our van still open? No, our van is closed. Because they've been looking at our van. I had to go to Garden of White. Yeah, Garden of White is all it is. Oh, man. Okay, man. So we're going to start the OT podcast, podcast part of the show, man, where I ask y'all questions. I like your uh, answers. Oh, go ahead. We got one. So, um... I'm on a live, and um, Rhea said, is anything off limits when you're doing the show, or do people just need to lighten up? Nothing is ever off limits Nothing. on the Herbal Tea, tea Podcast. podcast. We talk about everything. We talk about everything. everything. Except for that, that disease they had out here. We're not oh, talking about COVID that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not talking about that. I talked about that, but no, we talk about everything, and the reason why we talk about everything is because we want to give everybody, our viewers, our listeners, our panelists, a chance to speak their truth. That's, That's all we ask is that you come on here and you speak Come on, have a good time, man. If you got a and if you have a and one thing, if you have a black business, you welcome to come on, bring your product, come and promote it. You know what I'm saying? We want sponsors to I'm come on the show too. That. So yeah, I definitely. have a black business. Okay, well give us that hundred dollar sponsor fee. You definitely can shout it out. At the, no, I was talking shit. You know go what? ahead. There you go. <laughs> no, go ahead. You got if you got a black business, but we are gonna give you an opportunity to shout okay, out. Yeah, no, I got you. Yeah, but yeah, no, I, got do, you. I do a lot of stuff. I do yeah. catering. I do birthday parties. I face. You paint. got that? I can cook. I look though. I do. Yeah. Without, without the grandma arms, cause come on, you work out. <laughs> All right, let me ask y'all this first question. So, the first date at the gym, is that a yes or a no? Or would you do it? Or would you try it? Or what's going on? First, first day, he wanted to take you. Let's meet at the gym. Oh, I'm going. Yeah. I'm definitely yeah. going. Yeah. And it better be 45 minutes. Mm, come on. You like to challenge yourself. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, once you started working out, you kind of got addicted to it? Oh, uh, well, I used to work out when I was younger. Okay. Uh, childbirth and being a mom and just being busy, mm. you kind of miss yourself in the gaps. Yeah. Yep. And, and you let yourself go a little bit. Just a little bit because mm. you got to do everything else. And you're like, as long as that's okay, I'll be okay. But it doesn't work like that. Yeah. I need to be okay. Then everything else will be okay. Mm. So, but no, I, I, love, I love it. I love All it. Right, what about you, Jesse P? First day at the gym. You meet him, y'all. You out meet him. He say, hey, "Babe, uh, I know you. You know you look like. Let's go to the gym. Would you go? Or would you take it as a diss, or how would you? How would you do it? No, if he really wants to work out, then that means you actually want to care about me potentially. Mm. So why not take a chance, lose some weight, feel yeah. good, have yeah. fun. Get and, and then the gym is somewhere where you're not alcohol induced. You know what I'm mm, saying? Right? You can see the real yeah. person, kind of. You're yeah. not seeing that old crazy ass, you know, hey, baby, running game. Yeah, something Both different. Both of y'all focus on what y'all Something out the box, you know. Yeah, instead yeah, of yeah. always going to sit down and eat, mm. get yeah. drunk, like you said. You know, just something different. Mm -hmm. What about you, Reed D? Listen, whatever date you want to take me on, I'm with it. Yo, vibe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm matching your we vibe. On it. We um, on it. Yeah, man. But, no, gym, definitely, because as we get older, we know our health. Mm. 
mm -hmm. is one of the main factors that's mm -hmm. going to keep us around. So we can't raise our children and grandchildren and nieces and nephews and things like that. So I'm all for a gym. I'm for walks. I'm for talks. Whatever you want to do, I'm good. Yeah, me too. I'm all for the gym too, man. I, um, I think that'll be a perfect first date. You know what I'm saying? I, mm -hmm. I think some people would be nervous because they don't want to see them in that weakest state moment. Because you know, mm -hmm. when you working out, you on that last set, you breathing hard. Don't yeah. know if you can do it. So that's kind of intimidating to a lot of people. But well, I, yeah, that might be where it could be a learning moment. Where you can motivate, yeah. be like, "Come on, yeah, yeah that's the push. What you got, yeah." Okay, next question, man. What's the longest you wait if somebody that you was in a relationship got locked up? We are gonna start with you, Jesse P. Ooh, mm. <laughs> jail time. Yeah, jail time. Being only, real, have you ever waited? Just get that way. I'm oh, sorry, I don't have time spouses. to wait for that. <laughs> mm -mm. No time. Not even like a couple days till the trial. Yeah. Wait. You ain't gonna send you just gonna, you I mean, in jail, but you talking about in, locked up. Shit, locked up. No, you see, down. What, what, what amount shit? of time? What's your limit? When you like, all right, yeah. bye. I can't do this when, no I, when I see what those charges are and uh, okay, put that case let's... together. <laughs> 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 like, he gonna do 10, he gonna be home in five. That's gonna give me a year to really no. do what I want. No. And, uh, uh, because why waste time? Like, you doing nothing but getting older. Shoot, I'm waiting. I'm waiting five years for you to get out, and I don't know if you had a boyfriend in there or not. No. Oh, like, man, it's a, them, man. it's a lot of them, man. It's a lot of them, man, for real. They call that gay for the stay. Yeah, right. they like that pussy. Shout oh. out to them, though. Fuck it, not me. That boy pussy. No, they have a thing for that. It's gay for the stay. Like, yeah, they, 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 oh, so yeah. they gay while they in there. They gay while they in there. You better not bring it up. Get 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 out. Situational goal set. Because you got to understand that although we are not living in the time of the past and we are in the future, there are transgenders who have had medically surgeries to have breasts and to change those things. So they still have to go to the male facility or mm -hmm. the female facility, but they walking around in there with they, they mm -hmm. hair laid. I'm talking they about they laid and spray. Yeah. Okay. Can you wow. imagine the cigarettes and zoom zoom and wham whams they got yeah. with some titties in that jail? I wonder how all of them got cell phones to be on TikTok Live. They got more cell phones? Niggas be having iPhone 16s in jail. That, okay. Doing videos, all I, kind of shit. Listen, once again, I'm going to tell you guys, mm. this is all... They all work together. Mm -hmm. They all work together. Watch the Mirror Kings. Matter of fact, Breaking Bad, that was great. I just finished that. Somebody put me up on oh, that. Oh, yeah, I love Breaking Bad. Somebody put me up on that. It can, it shows you how they all work together. But at the end of the day, they have better. So when people are incarcerated and they would like to go back, they reoffend. You got to understand, some of those people are coming out of to a world that they ain't never seen before. Yeah. They don't have any family support. Yeah. When they are inside, they are eating breakfast, lunch, dinner. Somebody is giving mm -hmm. them the direction. Some people need structure in their yeah. life. So it goes down and breaks down to more than just, I'm going to jail. I'm going back it's home. It's a mindset, yeah. I'm going back home. Yeah, yeah that's real shit. What they yeah. familiar with, that's yeah. all they know. That's all they that's know. All they know. Institutionalized. But yeah. I'm saying, you waiting five, we just gotta put the five well, years You not waiting at all. Five years and you stole a car, and we 35 and plus. No, I'm not waiting for that. Yeah. So you saying it, it depends on the crime. A white collar crime. Yeah. I might be. I might be sticking around. So it's really the monetary. Maria said, "You guys see P Valley." I see P. I, 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 I like the P Valley. I'm gonna tell y'all what I was watching the other day. The Tyler Perry thing, man. I mean, I mean, I'm saying the beautiful black or whatever it's called. The first episode was bad acting, so I'm like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So then I'm like, let me try another episode. Try another episode. He no. The get nothing against the LGBT community. I have nothing against it, but he kind of took it like this is like a all LGBT. Thing. I don't know if you have y'all seen Beauty and Black and on Netflix. I have seen no, a couple of episodes, but what I'll tell you I mean, is that you have to. Everybody okay. gay. So I understand why they're targeting those communities. Money. Now I don't agree with them targeting like the kids and things like that, yeah. and having it in their community and things like that. People. But the reason why he's targeting that community is because he's opening it up to a broader audience, just mm. like Luther Vandross. Mm. He started out singing jingles and commercials. Luther was then, yeah, Luther. Listen, allegedly Luther. Luther, Luther, Luther he was I don't know if it was Big Luther yeah. or Little Luther. Little Luther. <laughs> <laughs> Big Luther little started hitting him. That's why he got Little Luther. But yeah. then he had to go 
towards targeting bigger yeah. audience. Yeah. He had to carve into R and B, pop, country. You know, yeah. so that's the reason why they go out here and they try to get different know? mainstream. I feel, do y'all know that uh, most of Luther Vandross songs was Dion Warwick songs? Yes. That he re Yes. Oh, yeah. which, which you could really say they yeah. Dolly Parton. All his songs. hits. <laughs> Okay, so that, the, his biggest okay. hits though. So all I need to do is rewrite a song. I need got to start from scratch. No. Don't you remember the way that you love me? No. Don't you remember Baby. the way that you love me? Okay, so Come on, Jim and I. Let's start there. But let me tell y'all, who the fan draws has a song. I mean, it has a, a movie that's coming out in 2025. It's, I, a it's a documentary. Movie, documentary, you got to make it for the community of the African Americans. We're going to say movie. So with that being said, he has a movie that's coming out in 2025. I recently went to go and see it um, last week, mm-hmm. Wednesday, and mm-hmm. it was in the movie theater. It was one day only, and it, it was fabulous. Mm-hmm. And that's when I learned the history of Luther. Luther was one of the big, first of all, let's, Luther did not even have to come out and be an artist. Mm-hmm. He was making so much money behind the scenes. He started up as a background singer. Mm-hmm. Now, I was young and I was watching Sesame Street. I, I don't remember Sesame Luther Street. singing ABC. You don't remember? Yeah, I don't remember. remember. I remember that. Yeah. But he did not have what society would say the physical look to be in front of the mainstream. Because mm-hmm. so he was a big boy even a, on Sesame Street. Even on Sesame yeah. Street. So he had to dummy it down and he became a background singer. Mm-hmm. And I can't remember the um, artist's name. It was a female. He was singing for her when she couldn't make it to set to make sure that the sound mic was correct. Who? Sherilyn. 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 He said, yeah. She. Sherilyn. Sherilyn. She told him one day, you need to explore who your talent is because sometimes people can see things in other people that they can't see. Like when I came in, y'all saw my glow. I don't see it. I just already naturally feel it. She just bragging herself on the low in the Luther story. God damn. But what I'm saying is, she saw his work. Just like we should see in all of our friends. She saw his work and she told him, like, hey, this background singing and writing these songs because he was a producer writer. He didn't want to be a singer. Yeah. He was producer writer, so yeah, he did sing Dionne Warwick songs, but he sung them at the request of her. He made it better. Luther, so, well, Luther, it, it, I, I would say Luther is probably the best male singer to me ever of all time. But God, let's just say just I would say he's up there in my top yeah. five, but don't sleep on Stevie Wonder and don't, don't sleep on chance. Barry White. And Barry I really White. feel like a lot of Luthers. Uh, training came from how Barry was because Barry was the greatest choreographer in, in the background making you know songs why? outside of uh, his own. that's um, what a man is supposed hey, to do. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, so since Rita D had brought up the documentary, man, I want to ask y'all a quick question that I just thought of. If y'all had to write a title to a book of your life right now, what would be the title of your book for your life? And I'm going to start with you, Brandon. You just got me Brandy. He did. Yeah, yeah. You just making up stuff now. She I'm changed her comedian name you know so what? many times. You, I can change my name. You can't change my name. Or only my residents can change my name. Well, let me just call you beautiful. Then. And it makes them <laughs> feel good. All right, beautiful. So what? they call me, um, I had, they you call me a yourself. lot of stuff. So you forgot <laughs> your name herself. No, you feel what I'm saying? No, they, I'm talking about what my residents used to call me. Okay, so what, so what would be, so what would be a, what would be a title for your life? to my book. For my life would be mm-hmm. it would be <laughs> it would be all right, just Brady's like, greatest hits. Hold on, wait. Uh, you just asked me the question. You want I me mean, to ask you want us to come up on spot with the name? Right. Yeah, I think it's time. You didn't come up with being bald today. Shout out to Herbal Tea Podcast. <laughs> but no, it'll be like um, Brady's greatest hits. Guided by Christ. Mm, okay. Shout out to Christianity for sure, mm-hmm. for sure. We're on the applause for that. Definitely, definitely. Definitely. What about you, Jessica? Oh back in the day it would have been Survivor. But I like that. <laughs> okay. But today, um I would say simply beautiful. Mm. All right, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Beautiful with two L's. I like that, too. Why would it be called beautiful? Simply beautiful. Simply. Because because the greatest things in life that people are taking for granted, in my opinion, is the simplicity and the beauty of God and life in itself. The fact that you were chosen to wake up and do it. Make a change. Also, oh, it be levels to of beauty. Yeah, it's, it's, every yeah, aspect life. of beauty. I like that. My, okay. my my life 
I'm very thankful, humbly thankful yes. for every experience and I'm and I'm just grateful for it. So it's simply beautiful to me. That's what's up. That's real. That's real. What about you, Reedy? So you know I'm so different. I had a chance to think un- unlike them. But um I would probably have three titles because I would write some series. Okay, hey, I like that. <laughs> I, like I didn't say chapters of the book. <laughs> yeah. You know, that, no, that's but, unfair but Jess, to everyone. But Jesse gave, when Jesse said when she was younger, yeah. so I think that was a better question. So mm-hmm. yeah. if I was younger, I would have probably wrote the book as you got this. Mm. Because yeah. I didn't know what I was going to have to endure going through life, but I yeah. always knew. And I was always told, you got this. Yeah. In the black community, yeah. when we tell somebody when something going wrong, you got, got this. this. Yeah. That's right. So it would have been you got this if it was like in my younger years. Um, in my middle age years, I, I'm proud of you. Okay. okay. You, I'm proud of you because despite what we go through, even in our community, once again, I'm proud of you because you made it. Yes. Like you said, you're a survivor. Yes. And then in my life right now, where I'm at, you made it. You made it. You made it. No matter like what that. happened, I like that no too. matter what goes on, my faith is so strong now that it wasn't even 10 years ago, five years ago, maybe not even last year, but you made it. You made it. You I made it. That, man. That, 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 I like, you okay, know. Okay, oh, wait, my, no, we're not, we're not done. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me just say, because okay. I got the chicken swarmer still on my fingers. I'm getting hungry. That's I'm still on my fingers. Right that girl. <laughs> 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 that damn girl is still on my fingers. I'm not not my head. I'm getting hungry. hungry. All right, man, but um, no, since she had a time, since she had a chance to go through her life with her different levels of books, what would be yours? Well, I was just going to say, thinking about how there was, because I, you know, a mm-hmm. little more insight. I appreciate that. I like that. <laughs> I still am. Um, mm-hmm. But no, I was thinking. Oh, yeah, my. Um, it's off. We're in the basement, ladies and gentlemen. It's like a uh, fight club. Mm. Mm. I like because, that. like, um, when I was younger, people always just told me, you're strong, you're strong. Mm. And it's not, a, it's not a flesh and blood, it's a spiritual battle. Can I ask one question? Yes. Do anyone check on you? Because this is a cliche. You never check on your strong friends. Do you have anybody that checks on you? Yes, I do. I'm right. Shout out to the support. Yes. Look at that, yeah, man. I do. I do. And, it, and I try to be um, more receptive because I don't like feeling like um, like an injured like puppy or whatever. Right. But they do call like, I have I have a lot. I thank God for that because I do have genuine people that call That's and check genuine. on me and be like, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm you part of the in, check on her yeah. crew. Because you need her. Like, yeah. we need this Look, so Y'all question. need Gemini. So Y'all question. need Gemini. So, question, because we coming to our end of the show, does she check on you back? Because I'm going to tell you this. Sometimes friends don't know how to be a friend to that person. And we are trying our hardest to get our friends to be the type of friends that we are. Mm-hmm. I'm and you so, want to end the show so Don't just say that because no, she here. No, listen. Listen. No, real. Okay. Real talk. I be feeling like I don't check on her enough because she check on me way more than I check on her. That's real. That's real. You got to check on your strong friends, man. Like, for real. But I know, like, she life be life in my girl. And she walked through with so much grace. Yeah. And she she encouraged me Mm -hmm. to walk through my struggles with even more profound Mm -hmm. grace. Yes. Because God places people in your life that need to be there. Yeah. You know, do, he, for a reason, not <clears throat> just a season. And a lot, and a lot of times, man, when you be when you be strong, man, you just be. You don't even want to tell nobody else because you know they going through something. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but sometimes so you, you don't even want to hear it out loud yourself. No, because, because, like, because, because you, you be going through it. And you, you, know, like, I just you know what? Man. Because it's a fear and an embarrassment. You know what I'm saying? A lot of dreams and stuff that we we dream and a lot of stuff that we want to happen doesn't come true true because we have too much fear. Yeah, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? That comes from a pimp to the preacher. Everybody preaches fear to get you to do something. So we will take our fear and take our fear and live in it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Instead yeah. of facing it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's why people say face your fears. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because I think everyone on this panel right now has a has a, has a knack to be great. You know what I'm saying? That whatever you want to do, you just can't be scared of what people going to think. Because one thing about people, they going to think what the fuck they going to think anyway. Right. No matter where you live at, what you live at, lose weight, gain weight. Oh, she lost all that weight, but she's still ugly. Or yeah. he lost all that weight, but the dick's they still small. It's way. always something. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You said they lost 
y'all start out waiting they dick still small. You know, I was just Who saying, said women that? and men, women and men. You shut know, up, shut no, up. Women and men. Are, okay, anyway. But no. no, I was just, I was just giving a, you know, just a small synopsis of uh, 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 of how people <laughs> gonna hate. You know what I'm saying? They don't. They yeah, are. So it, it doesn't they matter are. what you do, how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Even when we wasn't doing the podcast, what you happened know to y'all? People hold, hate. Hold on, hold on. Let me just say this real quick. Just like when we wasn't doing the podcast for a minute, what happened to y'all little podcast? Look, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wait, what, wait, what happened wait, to y'all little wait, podcast? Wait, can I say this? Mm, go ahead. Mm. But everybody out there in podcastic mm. world and everything like that, <laughs> mm-hmm. watch out to the watch out for the word little. Yeah. Little can be taken to the point where I feel like it's a disrespectful word. Respectfully, do not call my house little. Yeah. It's very big. Yeah. Okay. Do not very call good. my dreams little because right. I'm going to reach them. Mm-hmm. Do not call my friends little because I'm rocking with them and I ain't riding with you. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, I think that that word little is expressed to the Don't point where it's and that's how they do. It is a subliminal message mm-hmm. sent in our community just like what up, though? Yeah. We from what you was going to say, Jesse yeah. P? No, I was I was gonna say the reason why hate is here is because it's too much time on your hands. Mm-hmm. If you got enough time on your hands to talk about the next person, then that means everything ain't going right in your life, and you need to self reflect. But there's so much money out here, and so many new opportunities to get. You shouldn't even have that much time. We spend right. too much. You, See, should, stay, you should be should, focused a lot of times on bettering saying, yourself s- instead of hating on a, the next. A lot of times yeah. we spend too much time looking at that blue button, that blue app on our phone, that we forget our own reality. You know Correct. what I'm saying? I'm on it because I'm trying to make. I make. I made seventy. I made seven dollars fifty cent off of it last month because I, I didn't know you could make money off Facebook prior to about two months ago. So really? now I'm posting okay. like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all been seeing me posting. I'm making four five a day. You know what I'm saying? Because you can make money off of it. You know what I'm know saying? That. So That's you definitely cool. can do that. But um, we're gonna get to a part of the show before we leave, so everybody can close out. It's called Rita D's Read. We miss it. This is the part of the show everybody loves. Yay. So can we get a round of applause for Rita D's Read? Hey. Just back in the building. Yeah. So we're gonna let her get it. Uh, two minutes. Hopefully, you know she'll go ten. So uh, let's go, Queen. I got a whole show, but I'm gonna tell y'all something about my best friend sitting over here to my left. I love you, Jay. Yes, I love ma'am. him. So it's a pleasure and an honor to always be blessed in company that you don't have to talk to a person every day. Come on. So although we haven't been podcasting for the last year, we still check in with each other, you know, weekly and things like that. He's there for me and my family. I appreciate that. We went through a tough season and a tough time. He called me today, I think, at like 5.15 and said, hey, I'm about to do a podcast. I said, oh, yeah, that's what's up. I watch. He said, nah, I'm about to do ours, and I need you there. So at the end of the day, I dropped everything. I came because at the end of the day, I believe in loyalty, 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 loyalty. I feel like a person can love you, but where's that loyalty? My loyalty goes so deep for all the people that I care about and love. So I did come up with something real quick because y'all know I'm not a last minute thinker. So as I was sitting in the car and I was coming up with Rita D's read, I was reflecting on 2024 and what it meant to me. 2024 has taught me so much. When they say, I thought, or if I could close this casket on a person that I never thought that I would live without, I felt that four times in my family this year because I never even thought that I would be going into this holiday season or Thanksgiving season thinking that some people that was going to be at that table will not be at that table. Mm. The youngest being 17 and the oldest being 81. Mm. So for our family, 2024, we didn't need that extra hour, and that's what I meant by treasure the time. Mm -hmm. So the first thing or the first affirmation that I felt was that you got to love who loves you, Mm -hmm. and it is that simple. Love who loves you because when it's all said and done and we go home at night and we close those doors, we in the house by ourselves, that's really going to hit. And that's when you're going to really realize who loves you. All those people that said they was going to be there during the grief that ain't there, it's messed up. But at the end of the day, we still love who mm-hmm. loves us. Tomorrow is definitely not promised, y'all. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's, it's not, not promised. We don't get it back. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting today back. I'm not getting this podcast back. I'm not getting yesterday back. But mm-hmm. I do get to get tomorrow. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yes. You want to do it with me? No. I just, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here. My eyes closed for like I'm praying to this motherfucker. I'm just saying. Amen. Damn. Damn. No. You got me right now. But no, I'm just saying, like, tomorrow's not promised. And saying that, we got to cherish each moment, each second, like it was our last. Forgive and move forward. Yes. Forgive and move forward. I'm not saying forget because you don't have to forget, but you do have to forgive. You do have to forgive. One main thing and concern 
that I felt during this 2024 season was keep folks out of your business. Amen. 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 I'm going to say it again. Keep folks out of your business. <clears throat> when you learn how to keep folks out of your business, it just runs smoothly. I always tell my little circle, y'all my chat with boss men friends. And I say that to say that when Chad with Bossman died, and if y'all don't know who he is, you Google him, but I'll tell y'all he was a character in Wakanda. Black Panther. Forever. Black Panther. <laughs> yes. No one knew he was dying of cancer. Nobody knew he was sick. Nobody was putting it on a, uh, Instagram. Nobody was shouting out that because his circle was so tight that they kept his business to itself. You don't got to tell everybody everything. Okay. You don't got to tell your one homegirl to tell her that to tell nothing because she going to say something. You only live once. Do what makes you happy. Once again, do what makes you happy. Do what makes Sharita happy. Do what makes Sharita happy. Do what makes Sharita happy. I'm preaching to the choir. Do what makes me happy. I don't have to question. I don't have to answer to nobody but mm -hmm. God. So in this one life that we get, which is so short, y'all, do whatever makes you happy. Set boundaries and stick to them. Set boundaries and stick to them. Make your dreams. All right, Carla, Carla, thank you for calling. Wait a Apple Podcast interrupt. She had us be right here about to pray to the Lord right now. <laughs> I'm preaching my dreams. What's going on, Carla? What's your name? Where you call it from? Hey, what's going on, Herbal T? This is Richard. Uh, what up, dog, man? Rich. Baller with Rich, man. Appreciate you calling, man. That's what's up, bro. Man, I had to call in, man. When yeah. I, I was uh, thumbing through my uh, Facebook and saw y'all, I got excited. I was like, Herbal T, one of my favorites, yeah. in fact. Come on, man. You yeah. know you are favorite, yeah. too, man. Thank you, brother, man. We definitely appreciate you. And um, I hopefully it'll be here tomorrow, man. We about to start doing them. Um, back, we back, man. You know, I, I appreciate seeing your consistency, and that's one thing that's uh, really inspired me. Hell yeah, for sure. Thank you, okay. Richard. All right. Hey, I shout just out to, to Monique, too. Tell your wife I said Yeah, shout out to Monique, man. Hell yeah, oh, Okay, man. definitely. All right. I'm just calling in, checking in, letting you know. It's good to see you guys. Can looking I ask, good. Can I ask Great you one, show. Can I ask you one question? Uh-huh, sure. And you don't got to be biased, and Monique might be sitting by you, but I know I'm her favorite, too. On Herbal Tea Podcast, since you missed us so much, who you missed the most? Come on, Uncle Bill. Rita D definitely in the building. You interrupted my Rita D read, so I know you missed me. You better choose correctly. I, I, I miss I miss both of y'all because both uh, of y'all a team. Both of y'all team. Y'all equal. Y'all equal man. as a team for real. Man, appreciate you, brother. Thank you for calling in, man. Thank you. We about All right, to take it easy. All right, so we about to end. Take Wait a minute, I'm not finished. I got Rita. two more points, but I do want to give a shout out to Rich. Ballin' with Ballin Rich. Rich, he's another podcast. Thank you for calling in. Rich, when I asked you that question, I was hoping that you said both of us because I feel the same as well, and I know Mobique will too. Um, last but not least, I got two more things. Make your dreams a reality. Whatever it is, pray about it, fast on it, and believe it. Start today. Choose you first always. Understand what peace is within itself is priceless, and you don't owe anybody an explanation but yourself to God. All right, all right. Thanks all right. for reading these. Read those right. 14, 30, 75 minutes. Uh <laughs> All right, uh, BK, you shout out your uh, Instagram, shout out whatever you need to shout uh, out for you to, for people to reach you and contact you and book you. Real yeah, quick. my Instagram is Mrs. as MRS Butter Cookie underscore Jones. Mm -hmm. Facebook, Brittany, Miss, uh, Miss Butter Cookie Jones. And I want to shout out my wonderful husband of 12 years and my two children, Jeffrey and Jaleel. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. Okay, any shows coming up? Um, I will be at, I will be a punchline next Monday. Okay, yep, next Southfield, Monday. Make sure y'all yep, come out. Herbal Tea Podcast. What's that? Monday, next Monday. Make sure y'all yep. come out. What time? 8.30. Okay. All right, Justin P., yeah. you got anything to shout out real quick? Not really. Just shout out to Instagram. And shout out to Justin. Life is Life and she, Podcast she coming to Brooks Media soon. She she brought she brought uh the comedian. I'm just glad to be back and be seen and Jesse P on the scene again. Okay. Good to see y'all. Right, right, glad right. to see Herbal T back. Man, we okay, back, man. Yeah. We back. We just back. Got we back. Here and support. And, and hopefully y'all invite me back. It ain't all about man, me. Definitely. And uh, I want to shout out real quick. Um, I want to shout out. Uh, uh, event party box uh, gourmet, gourmet turtle bites Man y'all gotta get them I had them in Houston Y'all know I'm not real big on candy I don't eat sweets But man when I tell you These the best Chocolate covered turtles You could ever eat Man make sure y'all Check them out Event party box uh, Gourmet turtle bites They not cheap But at the end of the day They very very Gourmet very turtle good. bites they, Yeah they gourmet okay. Like they make them by hand Ain't no Did you ain't bring no, this one? No they cost too much They $20 Where do you get that shark from? 
I got off the, off the, off the, off the uh, corner right there for $10. Uh-huh. Call the yeah. I'm going to be playing basketball this motherfucker tomorrow. Okay. But, uh, um, right. Like I said, man, I want to thank y'all for watching this, man. Rita D is back. I am back. We about to have more guests, more fun on the show. We just don't have a specific day that we're going to do, but we're going to be here, huh? Also, if you have a black business, make sure yes. you reach out to us. Our yes. whole platform is about creating um, networking skills and things like that. All we do is support black businesses. Every week we have a black and you business. Go.